This seemingly innocent Christian kids TV show is hiding a dark secret. Hello there internet dwellers, my name is Baz and welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching Angel Hair by the East Patch. This is an amazing analog horror based off of a kids TV show, a Christian TV show. And I'm not going to say too much, I've, I've just watched it because the more I speak, the more I think I'll, I'll give it away. You guys need to experience this for yourself, so please go check out the East Patch. Go watch, there should be a playlist in the description down below. Go check out all of these. I'm watching up until tape six because I believe this is the first season. And if you guys want me to react to some more, like the second season, because there are a lot of unanswered questions that I think get answered maybe in season two then let me know down below like the video subscribe subscribe to east patch all that good stuff go show your support this is really really cool like a very very unique way of telling a story and uh, I, I really enjoyed it so without further ado let's jump into the video okay so this is the first video called remembering angel hair let's jump into this it's only 55 seconds our time as a child Hang on. English United States. Uh, I'm going to keep this on. But someone we left behind. Never fi- Ooh. See, this is why you turn captions on, guys. Music ends abruptly. Oh. Never forgot you. This September, join us. And your old friends. In a six-week event. What was buried? Faith... Hope. What was waiting? Oh, okay. There's a lot going on here. Hang on a sec. Let me let me go back. Okay, so this is obviously going to be in like the the tapes, right? But we get like a here we go. How do you say this? Ephesians. 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 I'm sorry if I'm butchering that, guys. But I've got that here because I, I kind of skipped ahead and I looked, I uh, skimmed through and I saw this pop up. So I thought I would go along and you know just read as we go along. So this is Ephesians 6:10 to 18. The armor of God. Finally be strong in the Lord and his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not f against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on, your, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belts of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Okay. Can remember with us East Patch Productions. My name is Angel Gabby. What's yours? Baz. Nice to meet you. That's a beautiful name. Oh, thank you. It's wonderful to meet you, and I hope we can be friends. Me too. You seem nice. Interesting. So this is now tape one, which is called Were You an Angel Hair Child? I found something. My childhood memories are spotty and few. But yesterday I found something. Ooh. Angel hair. I saw this tape in a thrift store. It overwhelmed me with feelings of comfort. So it's like an old cartoon. An old Christian cartoon. This show was my comfort, my escape. But when I put in the tape, it wasn't the same. So last night, I dug up our recorded copies. What? So I can show you. What, the difference? Or... Okay. Angel Gabby. Little raccoon or a badger. Oh, Angel Gabby. Gabby. Angel Gabby is in Gabriel. G Gabriel. <laughs> Gabrielle. Good morning, Francis. I love to hear you call. Mm -hmm. Oh, have you brought a new friend with you? Yes. Oh, it's like Dora the Explorer. Fearful, Angel Gabby. I never know what to say. That's okay, Francis. Meeting new people doesn't have to be scary. Mm -hmm. Just introduce yourself and ask them to do the same. <clears throat> Hello there. My name is Angel Gabby. What's yours? 
I've already said my name. You That's know. a beautiful name. Okay. It's wonderful to meet you, and I hope we can be friends. Yeah, sure. Why not? Fear should never control you, Francis. I'll show you how to meet someone new. First, okay, you... okay, so it's showing the differences between the tapes that this person found and the tapes that they recorded. To introduce yourself and ask them to do the same. <clears throat> Hello there. My name is Angel Gabriel. What's yours? Baz. It's wonderful to meet you, Jonah. Whoa, okay, hang on a sec. I didn't say that. I hope I can be a good friend to you. Jonah? I thought I remember the show having a main character named Jonah. <laughs> It was special because my name is Jonah too. Oh, okay, interesting. Another way to make friends is to share things you like. Okay, so this is the VHS copy. It says in the bottom left, okay. Can you think of a toy or storybook that's special to you? Uh... That's not... great. Oh, okay. Sharing something important lets others learn about what makes you special. Okay. If I didn't have these recordings... Another way to make friends is to share things you like. Can you think of a toy or storybook that's special to you? Huh. Well, it's looking off to the... That's a great book. What? Just like Babe, you can grow up to do whatever you want, Jonah. That's what makes you special. I would think I was going crazy. The series has had six episodes. I have to check them all. I have to remember everything. So the one the the one that he remembers is the one where it's the one called Jonah, but the VHS copies are something completely different. Angel hair created by the Mangan sisters. Okay, interesting. I like the art style. I like the, the the thought of like creating something like with dark themes, but in like a cute and cuddly way. Like you know, like Amanda the Adventurer, the game. Similar to that. Always by Stephanie Burns is getting okay. They did a good job. Okay, here we go. This is tape two. It's called Angel Hair's Cursed Lessons Uncut. I tried to find any information I could about the show. Other versions, regions, releases. Angel Hair, she's your guardian angel. KP Publishing. The distribution company repacked, repackaged old kid shows but went bankrupt in the late 90s. The original publisher though, uh, Reef of Life, it doesn't show up anywhere. Not online, not in business records. Okay, so that's the version that this person's got. Differences, no longer subtle. Okay, so this is the VHS copy. It's a beautiful day, Francis. We shouldn't take it for granted. Oh, but Gabby, how can I have the strength to face the day? All the rain has got me shivery and sad. No, welcome. Go to England, mate. Just, why, you wonder why English people are miserable all the time. Well, they're just miserable anyway. You know, they're just oh, miserable. Francis, it's simple. Faith and hope give us the strength to face every challenge. It may not make us physically strong, yeah. but it can give us resolve and fortitude when we need it. Mm -hmm. I can certainly That's true. use some fortitude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why it would be different for me. VCR the recording. The sun is warm sometimes, Jonah, but you shouldn't forget the moments when it burns you. Okay, so it's almost like Angel Hair is talking directly to this Jonah character. Oh, but Gabby, how can I have the strength to face the day? She doesn't look happy. All the rain has got me shivery and sad. You will need strength to be resilient during times of comfort, and fortitude to be brave during times of heat. Uh-huh. I can show you how- What was that to the- hang on. Comfort, and fortitude to be brave- It says E right there. ...during times of heat. Oh, it's- it's the- okay. I can show you how to be Certainly stronger, use some fortitude. even though you're so small. <laughs> what the- so yeah, this kind of has that Amanda the Adventurer vibes where this thing inside recognizes that this character isn't doing what it's supposed to. It's almost like this cartoon's alive. I don't know why I was told these things. The rain has flooded the path back to my home. Oh, man. How will I ever cross? Oh, despair. Oh, You'll no. never cross if you give in to despair, friend Francis. Let's follow the stream and look for a narrow crossing. Yeah. This Stop will do us a lot more good than surrendering to despair. I mm -hmm. see, Gabby. I see, Gabby. This hope is giving me a lot of strength. Oh, 
thought it was a game. Rain has flooded the path back to my home. How will I ever cross? Oh, despair. In the darkest times, you must never despair, Jonah. So it's like she... In the original, the VHS copy, she's talking to Francis. But in this, it's talking directly to Jonah. It is our greatest enemy. Strength it's like completely ignoring this badger slash raccoon. will be your ally. And I will show you how to be strong. Okay. I see Gabby. <laughs> yeah, screw that little dude. <laughs> Gabby? Where? Gabby? Hello? The water's rising, Gabby. We feel safest where we go to sleep. True. Do you want your room to feel safe? Okay, well, what do you want? I thought it was luck that she always knew what I needed. Interesting. First, let me show you how you can be stronger than your enemy. Okay. Like David's little pebble against Goliath. This uh -huh. little chair is going to be stronger than anyone who comes to your door. Okay, interesting. So, from what I'm gathering here, this is just a spitball idea right now. But Jonah has an abusive relationship with a member of his family. And this chair is to keep that family member out. It could I could be wrong. It could be like an actual monster or something. But, like, the devil. Or maybe she's, gonna, she's getting at the, that the devil is inside one of the Jonah's family members. If we put it backwards like this, it will be like your own lock and key. Uh-huh. Look at that. It's so strong. Interesting. Now let's get in the closet. Wow. The dark can be scary, but it can also be peaceful. Wow. Instead of letting the sounds and darkness make you fearful, look at God's blood. So I feel like, okay, so now this is a genuine recording. So it's not like something that he, in his mind, made up. This is recorded... Mm. blessings and concentrate hard on something you're thankful for mm -hmm. this is how your mind can be strong too i like to take a big slow breath to keep me calm mm -hmm. <sighs> would you like to try sure very <sighs> good jonah now you don't have to be I'm scared not jonah, but... even if he finds you oh, this is crazy he who was he? My mum and I. Interesting. I'd forgotten. Wait, what? Oh, we weren't always alone. Wait, what does that mean? Oh dear. Angel hair created by the Mangan sisters. I like this. This is really, really good. This is how you kind of tell a story in a very unique way. I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a, much of a religious person, but I understand how faith in, you know, your religion can bring you peace of mind and resilience within. Here we go. We're just going to move on to the next one. So this is a bonus tape. So it's not part of the, the main six, but it's a bonus one. And it's called The First Letters. Letters with Angel Gabby. Hello there. Hello there. Oh, I'm not Angel Gabby. She's busy today, so I have the privilege of answering your questions on her behalf. What's she busy with? I sure hope I can do a good job for you. Get her out of here, Francis. All right. I mean, get her Our in here. Our first letter is from Bleeding Heart Doves. She asks if there are any other angel hairs. What a lovely question. Thank you, Bleeding Heart Doves. Hmm. Personally, I haven't met any angels other than Gabby. She's my Interesting. dearest friend. My so is this guy like a like a like a priest vicar? Cause he, he seems to be wearing the robe. And really. Anyway, there's certainly more angel hairs out there, but they have a lot of responsibilities that keep them very busy. Here's some art I've collected over time of some of Gabby's angel friends. Oh wow, Aren't nice. They lovely. What well, are they? Are they, are they all rabbits and hairs too? Or hairs? I guess just hairs. Our next question is from Stephanie. Thanks for writing, Steph. Oh my. She writes, are there any demon hairs? Well, where there's angels, there are demons. As if you believe in a god, you also believe in the devil. Of fact, there's quite a diverse lexicon of... <laughs> well, uh, she doesn't like... What? Hang on a sec. Let's have a look. Look at that thing there. You can't really see it because the thing's in the way. Interesting. <laughs> well, uh, she doesn't like me talking about all that. Mm-hmm. But sometimes, when Gabby and I get a little giddy together, oh, yep. she'll tell some stories. 
I'm oh, sure really? I share more. <clears throat> but just know that demon hairs don't always appear as plainly as a rabbit with horns. Yeah. Sometimes they look like an opportunity or a feeling. Interesting. Well, I'm sure glad you wrote to us, Steph, and Gabby sends her love. Keep writing in, friends. Gabby loves to hear you call. Goodbye. Right, so this is that was introducing the idea of demons in this world. Rabbit with horns, that sounds like a jackalope. Jackalopes are demon hairs. <gasps> Angel Gabby have discovered a secret. Ja jackalopes are demons? Interesting, okay. We're going to move on to the next one. It's called Tape 3, What Big Ears You Have. I like this. I like the way this is going. That's what I was told. Hang on. What's that? Everyone has scars. That's what I was told. My mum said mine were from horseplay as a child. I don't know what to believe anymore. Okay, so Guardian Angel making friends. One, two, three, four. There are six. Okay. But I know I won't stop digging, not till everything is clear. Episode three, she broke character mid-show. Okay, I hasn't she- I'll feel safer with this, the way you wield that sword. These are nice props to demonstrate God's armor. Mm -hmm. But remember, Francis, the real sword of the spirit isn't a weapon. What Ephesians it? says it's the sharp wit and powerful depth of his word. Interesting. Ephesians. That's how you say that. Oh, good. I'm no good at fighting actual battles. None not once if he's not coming back for a while. Wait, what? Battles. None not once if he's not. Not once if he's not coming not back, coming for, back a for a while. Oof! Oh God! Was she watching me? Jonah, you're a very brave and very special one of God's children. No, no, it's it's all right if you weren't listening. Do you remember what we decided to do if you're ever afraid? Yeah. Is that even possible? I Wait. want you to take that off the table very carefully, only holding the handle. Oh my it god. Be heavy. Use both hands. Can you hold it up so I can see what kind it is? What kind it is? What, what do you think he's going to have? Like a 23-inch machete? I must have talked to her for hours. Oh, this is mad. How do I not remember? Now that we've got the pieces apart, let's think of somewhere to hide them where nobody can use them for harm. Okay, so he's hiding the knives. So at this bit, I realized that Angel Gabby's not talking about a knife. She's actually talking about a gun and she's telling Jonah to disassemble the gun and put it away so that the dad can't find it. And that's terrifying. No, Jonah, not the kitchen. A lot of people hide things in the kitchen and there's oh. too much traffic for it to be safe. Oh, okay. Never mind. No, not the toy chest in your room. Oh, wow. It would wow. be very incriminating. Oh. Wait, okay, so what, what's, what are they hiding? We can learn that word later, but it could get you into trouble. There was nobody else around for all that time. Yeah, what's happening? Good, good. Now, see if you can put the book back in front of it. Wonderful job. Be slow and steady as you climb back down. Oh, ye. Okay, so he's hiding something on top of like a cupboard or something. Was I left completely alone at such a young age? I think the belt of truth doesn't quite fit around me. Does that mean I'm extra honest? The belt of truth. I'll always be well, your warrior, case, Jonah. Now Where did she go? I hope we'll never have to draw a weapon. Oh, so it's like the sword that she's actually holding. She was saying in the in the original episode, your spirit weapon isn't an actual weapon, it's your words. But in this case, the weapon is an actual weapon to fend off whatever the hell he's fighting against. But as your oh. guardian angel? Thank you. Oh, so she is a guardian angel. What happened to my angel? This is really, really good. I like this. You know when you think you've seen everything, like, and you think, how is anyone going to do anything original now? You know, they, they some people pull stuff like this out of the bag, and something, and and something like so safe and comforting in like uh, the religious aspects of it. You know what I mean? Like the the way that it has religious themes. Obviously, this is an actual guardian angel looking out for this person. I can see why it'd bring comfort. To a lot of people. 
It's kind of sad. It's actually it's making me sad. All right, uh, tape for little white alibis. Here we go. I should be frightened. I should be confused. But there is only calm. And a sense of dread that something happened. That something tore us apart. Or the angel. Episode 4, Am I Complicit? I'm sorry, Gavin. So this is the copy. I was scared you'd be mad at me. But I shouldn't have lied. No, you shouldn't have. It hurt my feelings that you would take one of my angel feathers. But it hurt me so much more that you would lie about it, Francis. Mm hmm Will you ever forgive Francis, me? Francis, gosh darn you. The Bible tells us to forgive. But Proverbs 19 also warns us about the consequences of lying. Let's learn as we go, guys. Okay, I'm going to be honest, guys. I tried reading it, but I couldn't make sense of it because of the, the way it's worded. I'm so dumb. Do you think we should forgive Francis now that he's apologized? We should? That's very nice of you. It shows a lot of courage to be merciful toward others. Mm-hmm. Francis, I forgive you. That's so kind of you. This is a great way of Gabby? teaching, I guess. She's like a completely different person. I'm sorry, Gabby. I was scared you'd be mad at me. But I shouldn't have lied. Honesty is important, Jonah. You should always tell the truth. If you know you're going to be in trouble, mm -hmm. you should create a truth for later. Will you ever forgive you me? Create Go to a, a friend's truth. house when something bad happens, and you won't have to lie about it when they ask you later. Wait, what? Oh, he's creating an alibi. Okay, oh, that, that, that's why the title's a little white alibi. I'm going to ask you what happened, Jonah. So you have to make sure you're gone when the time comes. We have to make sure you only have truth to tell. Okay. She's planning my alibi. For what? So, she, what's happened here? Is a man, has Jonah attacked someone? Or is this person going to be a, get attacked whilst Jonah's away? So maybe she's going to be actually doing something. Alibi for what, though? You can forgive Francis if you want, but it will be difficult to ever trust him again. Revelations warns us of the place prepared for liars. It's up to you, Jonah. What would you like me to do? What would you like me to do? I looked for incident reports in my hometown, but there was a flood at the Mun Mun Municipal, M Municipal Building. Oh, Jesus, I don't know how to say that. It's, it's, it's all right. Take your time and think about it. It's not an easy decision. Water crews arrived and were able to essentially close the floodgates, but not before the damage was done. Okay. It's gonna take I was thinking the same thing. I'll help you however I can. What? Okay, interesting. Why? She's hiding all, like, records of anything ever happening. Is that to protect Jonah? What the hell was Jonah dealing with? Man, okay, so this is tape five, footage not found. I took a trip back home. Here we go. It's all coming together now. Got a nice chip in the windscreen there. Or is that bird poo? Where we first met. I don't want to be... I don't want to scare my mum. Look at the kid in mine! Yeah, little bastard mine. So I haven't told her why I'm here. Oh, you should go visit your mum regularly. If you live far away. To search for anything from my childhood. I didn't expect to find... Tape recorder. Great story ever told. So much. Man, this was a... Some children may break many balloons, and the experimenter may try to find out whether he feels any guilt about the destruction. When the wind blows, the cradle rocks, the bow breaks, and down come our babies, cradles and all. Okay, so this is old media that I used to have. Television. I had no idea she went down the same road I'm taking. Beginning at one year of age, the child is trying to interpret what he sees, and he feels danger. Get okay. back to your home. That are a little different. Wait, are there, are there words? 
What did I say? I don't know. I've only scratched the surface compared to her. Whether it's exposure to get back to your the home television programming itself or the family and social conditions that lead to children spending a lot of time watching it unfortunately if the child does not smile we cannot infer that he is not comprehending the event i can't make her revisit this who his mum programming itself the burden appears to fall on the film industry to whitman i represent keith publishing uh, Keith Publishing has politely requested you refrain from attempts to contact the company regarding past properties on multiple occasions. Despite these good faith efforts, you have persisted in the months since your first contact. You have disturbed employees at their homes, met with Giles Keith under false pretenses, attempted theft of company documents, harassed the company, and strained the business phone lines. With the serious nature of these infractions and under consideration, Keith Publishing now demanding that you cease all attempts to contact the company its employees, its related entities, and any related individuals concerning angel hair or any related matters. This will be your only warning on the subject before legal action is taken against you. The best way you can protect your son now is to refrain from any more attempts what at contacting burden appears to fall on the, film industry. the company, not through ongoing what efforts. Keith. Okay, oh, sorry, camera's gone. Staying now. So what was this this note beforehand? Hang on. Uh, thank you for reaching out to Upstate Broadcasting. We appreciate your, the time you took to collect your materials and write your letter, but we cannot assist with your request. The something in show in question has not been a part of our program block for some time now, and our current team was not around during its run. Any material remaining in our archive uh, for public aren't for public disclosure or are not for public disclosure as they are currently under the right holder keith publishing uh also informed by our sister company that this is not your first time seeking out the materials mentioned it is our recommendation that you no longer reach out to any of our subsidiaries or parent companies regarding this matter at the program as the program is no longer under the umbrella of upstate broadcasting if i may be perfectly honest i don't think okay something so this goes back to episode one where it was sheath was it sheath or something uh publishing okay reef of life but this one is kp publishing keith publishing whatever the combination is it seems to be a fairly lethal combination. not until i found out find out how to find my angel again one of their neighbors kept on looking for them until they were found what we did if placed in a dark room he would probably open his eyes while searching this is weird there aren't enough pieces to figure out the past i have to take this into my own hands here now i have to bring her back okay so then meanwhile as an old friend used to say good night and good luck Okay, interesting. Never, never hide. Oh, Ginger Cat. Yeah. Okay, so this is a bonus tape called The Last Letters. So let's have a look. And then the next one is the final one. Letters with Angel Gabby. Hello there. I'm afraid Angel Gabby couldn't be here today, but Why she's not? so thrilled with all the mail that's come in. Why can't she read really it? Really writing a lot. There's so much of it. I'll do my best to get through as much as I can. Let's see. Here's a couple. Honey Bunny asks if there are other types of angel animals, and Tin Moose mm -hmm. wants to know if there are other magical creatures. What fascinating questions. Thanks for being so curious, you two. Of course there are other magical creatures. Gabby isn't magical after all. Mm -hmm. If you see a magical creature, it's probably an unholy apparition trying to lure you into trouble. Trust me, even the friendly ones can be a wolf in sheep's clothing. As for okay. other angel animals. Let's see, what do we have? Hang on, what, did it skip that? Yeah, no, it looks like it just skips Let's it. Let's see, what do we have next? 
Koi asks if there is anyone in the woods besides the angel and the badger. My, my name is Francis. <laughs> it is and a badger. Asks okay. If there will be more friends showing up. Oh, raccoon's got the little things on the eyes. Yeah, you're. Well, you're I'm an idiot. Natalia and Koi. The forest is always buzzing with life. Today's just a little quiet. Yeah, that's okay. creepy. Okay, next we have a couple letters from Mary Stone and Doom Gamer 3000. What lovely names. Thanks for writing, friends. They ask what Gabby's duties are and if other angels like to come down and help. I think you'll be interested to know that Gabby has a lot of very busy angel friends. Okay. They have a lot of work to do all over the world and their duty is to help those in need. Interesting. If you keep an eye out, maybe you'll spot your local angel hair hopping around and helping people. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Next is a letter from Frog. Frog asks how we get these letters and if we know where they're coming from. Yeah. What a funny question. We get our letters through the mail like everyone else, Frog. And they come from curious little writers just like you tuning in to watch your friends. Okay. Cool. Speaking of friends, our next letter is from R. Pakula. They write... Do you know how you became Jonah's guardian angel? Wait, what? Do you remember anything about Jonah? Oh, that's creepy. Inky Lemon asks, how high can Gabby fly? What a funny question. Thanks for writing, Inky Lemon. Oh, it's gonna weird now. Gabby fly so high, she disappears right into the sun. I don't know how to measure it in units of science, but she certainly is a good fly. Oh, that is messed up. That's all the time we have for today, friends. I appreciate your patience, and I oh. hope you'll stay in touch. It's very comforting to know so many of you want to learn more about Gabby. She loves to hear you call. Goodbye. Okay, well, that's terrifying. What's this? Yeah, what's this? Vinay, 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 Vinay. Never mind, I, I can't pronounce it. <laughs> Could have had an important question. See you next time. Gabby asked this, what did you do, Nathan? What did you do? What have you done to them? Okay, so this is the final tape called A Final Call Tape 6. Okay, here we go. My recordings of her are set in stone. That's a lovely drawing, Jonah. Bob Ross. Live broadcast was how she spoke. <laughs> That's silly, Jonah. People can't fly. Was where she lived. Don't worry. We can stay here as long as you need me to. Really? I had to get her live again. I feel insane, but I'm going to live stream an episode. I hope you're having as much fun as I am. I'm letting her out. The colors show other animals that they're dangerous. Part of me is desperate for this to not work. We can be dangerous too, Jonah. Oh, jeez. Or this to all be a strange dream. We can keep them away with just our banner. Our banner? But I have to know for sure. Okay. Angel Gabby! Oh, Angel Gabby! Oh, this is live streaming on Twitch. Um, Gabriel? <laughs> Angel Gabby? Good morning, Francis. Uh -oh. I love to hear you call. Have you brought Heavy a new breathing. friend with you? Yes, but I'm fearful, Angel Gabby. I never know what to say. Oh, dear. Talk, man. Stop oh, breathing like that. What? Um, it's, it's me. Jonah, I'm here. Do you remember me? I'm so happy to see you, Jonah. Oh, this is weird. Just look how well you've grown. Oh. Oh, that's so fucking cool. Oh, he obviously found, like, comfort in the show. Damn. Until you call again. Oh, there's, like, a new little rabbit there. Okay, so that was basically season one of 
angel hair. And that was super, super good. That was a really interesting way of telling a story. Uh, obviously, there's still a lot of mystery going as to what's actually what actually happened and what Angel Hare and Jonah did that required him to have an alibi. But it's something to do with he, she made him hide a knife or something like that. I'm not sure. But I, I really like how this is told, like through the medium of a kids TV show. And it's like this character is actually giving comfort to jonah and as a kid he never really knew that he thought it was just a game of some kind but that was awesome guys you should go subscribe to the east patch go like the videos all that good stuff that was really really good i really enjoyed that i will be reacting to the next season because i i need to know what happens in this storyline uh, if you guys want to see that, let me know down below in the comments. Why not leave a like, rate, and subscribe? Go subscribe to the East Patch, like I said. Go to show them support. This, this is really, really good. Like, really high effort, high quality. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.